Okay, so this question is a minimum connector problem and it says the following. It says the table shows the time in days needed to repair a network of road between six towns A, B, C, D and E following a flood. Use PRIMS algorithm, so you must use PRIMS and it says you must start at A to find the minimum connector for this network. It says you must list the arcs in from your tree in the order you select them, the three marks. Now, this uh, network is not drawn for you and you're given in the exam book uh, the matrix here. So let's use the matrix form of PRIMS. So this is what we do. We start at A. So what we're going to do is we're going to circle the um, column headed A. We're going to call it number one. And we're going to cross out everything in the uh, row that is also A. So we're going to cross out everything here. Now we look down the row that we've numbered and we're going to find the smallest one, which is this one, 6. So we're going to highlight this, that's our next one. So AC is our first one, which is 6. Okay, so C is going to be number 2 that we list. Okay, C is number 2. We cross out everything in the C row like that. And now we look down 1 and 2 and find the smallest. So the smallest out of 15, 9, 12, 7 and 10 is 7. So the next one we, we're going to choose is DC, which is 7. So we're going to write, uh, or we could just write as CD. So CD, which is 7. Okay, so we're going to choose D as our next column. So we're going to highlight that 3, cross everything out in the D row, as follows. And now we've got three columns to look down. The smallest of 15, 12, 10, and 11 and 17. Well, that's clearly 10. So the next one we're going to choose is CE. So CE, which is 10. So that's the next one. So E is our next column we're going to number. And we're going to cross out everything in the E row. And now we've got four columns to look down. The smallest of 15, 12, 17, 14, and 5. Well, it's clearly 5 here. So EF is our next one. So EF being 5 is our next one. And so we're going to make F our next one, which is number 5. And we're going to cross out everything in the F row. So cross everything out. And now we're looking at all these ones. The smallest of 15, 12, and 14 is clearly uh, 12. So CB is our last one, or BC, which is 12. And that's going to be number 6. And we'll cross everything out. And we're done with prims. Now it did say state the order. So let's state the order we did them in. So AC is first. CD is next. CE is next, EE, EF, sorry, is next, and BC is last. So we must state that order or we don't get the marks. Going up here, then it says draw your minimum connector using the vertices given in diagram one in your answer booklet. So we go down to diagram one in our answer booklet and it wants us to fill these in. So we've got all the information here. Two things we must do, we must connect them appropriately and write the weight above them because a graph is both the connections and the weight. So A to C is 6, so we're going to draw a connection between A and C. We're going to draw a connection between C and D. We're going to draw a connection between C and E. We're going to draw a connection between E and F. And we're going to go draw a connection between B and C. And we must write the weights on them, so do not forget to do that. So A to C, we're going to write 6, done. C to D, we're going to write 7, done. C to uh, E even, we're going to write 10 here. E to F, we're going to write 5. So E to F, we're going to write 5 there. And B to C, we're going to write 12. And that there is our completed uh, minimum connector for one marks. We've done these two. It says add arcs from D, E and F to diagram 2 in the answer booklet so that it shows a network of roads shown uh, by the table. So, if we look in here, this table it is the complete uh, connection, the, all the possible connections, and they've started the graph off for us. So you can see here that they've said that A to C is 6, so they've said A to C, they've done that one for us. They've done A to B is 15, so they've done A to B is 15, and they've also done B to C, which is 12, so they've done B to C here, which is 12. However, they've done none of the other ones, so all we've got to do is fill in the connections. 
So let's go across with A. Firstly, we should do A to D, which is 9. So let's do A to D, and that should be 9. And then we've done this one. And let's do BA, which is 15. Well, that's done because AB is done. And then we need to do BE, which is 14. So let's go B to E, which is 14. So B to E here. And we're going to go 14 like that. Right, so we've done that one. Now CA, C to A, we've done that because we already did the one that's six. CB, we've already done that because we've done BC. CD uh, is seven, so we need to go down here and do C to D and say that it's seven, like that. So I'm gonna write in seven. And then we go back up here and C to E is going to be 10. So C to E is going to be 10, like that. Okay, so going back up here, have we done uh, D to A? We have, because we've done AD. Have we done D to C? Yeah, we've done CD. D to E, we haven't done, it's supposed to be 11. So go back down here and do D to E, which is 11. Like that. And then we need to do D to F, which is 17. So D to F, which is 17, like this. Okay, and then have we done E to B? Yeah, we've done BE. Have we done E to C? Yes, because we've done CE. Have we done E to D? Yes, but we haven't done E to F, which should be five. So E to F, which should be five. And we write in five here. And now we're done because obviously we've done F to D and we've done F to E because we just did it. So there we go. We've added the arc so that it shows a network for two marks. Then it says, Use Kruskal's algorithm to find a minimum connector. You should list the arcs in the order in which you uh, consider them. In each case, state whether adding an arc, state whether you are adding an arc. So the first thing we do, we look at that diagram, and the first thing we do is we list the arcs in the order from the smallest to biggest. So what we do first of all, we say EF is the smallest. So EF is five. Okay. Then we're going to say uh, the next smallest is this one here, 6. So AC is the next smallest. AC is 6. The next smallest after that, looking around, looks to me to be CD, which is 7. So CD, which is 7. Then we're going to have um, AD, which is 9. So we're going to write AD, which is 9 here. Uh, after that, we're going to have CE, uh, which is 10. So CE, which is 10. Then we're going to have DE, which is 11, so DE, which is going to be 11. After that, we're going to have a BC, which is 12, so BC is 12. Then we're going to have, ooh, looking around here, we're going to have BE, which is 14. And after that, we're going to have AB, which is 15. And after that, we're going to have uh, DF which is 17, DF, which is 17. Now just check we've got them all. Count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we've got them all. So we've got to say them in the order we need them. Now EF we're gonna have, we're gonna choose. So just write choose there. And let's just draw on there EF, like that. Then AC. Uh, we're going to have AC as well. AC is this one, so we're going to choose this one because it doesn't form a cycle. So we're going to certainly choose that one as well. Then CD, well CD we're going to have that which is 7 because it doesn't form a cycle, so right choose. Uh, AD, now A to D, that forms a cycle, so we're not going to have that, so click ignore. CE, we are going to have that because it doesn't form a cycle, so we can highlight that there, and we can say um, we're going to choose that. DE, so DE, that would form a cycle, so we're going to ignore. BC, that there, we're going to have that because it doesn't form a cycle, so we're going to say choose. So we're going to choose that one. BE, which uh, is this one here, would form a cycle, so we're going to ignore. AB, we're going to ignore. And lastly, DF, we're going to ignore. 
and we can see that we've got one, two, three, four, five connections there. Everything's connected up. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six nodes, and there's always one less uh, arc in the minimum connector, so we know we're done there. Okay, and the last part says state the minimum time needed in days to reconnect the tower. Well, that's just the sum of the minimum connections. So the minimum time needed is just the sum of this. So six, okay, add seven is equal to 13. Add 12 is equal to 25. Add 10 is equal to 35. And add the five is equal to 40. So what we're gonna do there is we're going to write ourselves 40 days. Now, because we've also done prims on it, we should really check whether, well because they should give the same answer. So let's just check that's also 40. Six and seven is 13, add 10 is 23, add five is 28, add 12 is also equal to 40 days. So we're done there.